Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. Good day folks, welcome back to On the Bench. Today I'm going to tie you up a little midget merger pattern of mine that I created last year. I mainly fished it in the lakes, but also in a couple of streams, and I did extremely well with it, so I wanted to share it with you. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For hook, I'm using an A-Rex. It's an Emerger barbless hook, size 14. For thread, I'm using Semperfly um, spider thread. It's waxed, 18 and white. For the body, I'm using Semperfly perfect quills. Um, and the, I'm using the medium 12 to 16 size. For the trailing shuck, I'm using Crystal Flash and Pearl. The thorax, I'm using Kapok dubbing by Semperfly in black, or you could use a black super fine dubbing, is totally fine. And for the hackle, I'd be using uh, whiting, and it's the Grizzly, um, it's like the Whiting 100 Ultimate Hackle Pack. Just natural grizzly. So just go ahead and start your thread. And I'm just going to run it down to about the hook point. Next, take your crystal flash, and I'm taking three pieces of crystal flash for the shuck. Or you could use something like Antron if you had Antron. Totally fine. And I'm just going to tie those in right on top and bring them down the hook all the way down the bend quite far. About there. I'm just going to give my thread a tiny spin here. Bring it back up. Next, I'm going to take my hook and just invert it slightly, just to make this part a little bit easier. Next, take your quill. I'm just going to snip a little off. And I'm just going to tie it in right on top, and I've got the sticky side facing me, so facing outwards. Because when you wrap it, you want the sticky side facing the hook, obviously. Just bring that all the way down to the crystal flash. And then you can bring your work your thread back up. Next, take your quill. Just be careful, take your time on that first wrap. And it should make just if you just slightly overlap it, you should have some nice um, even segments. Hang on one sec. Mine got twisted right away there. There we go. Just work your way up the hook. Take your time. As you can see, it gets thicker um, as you work your way up. And then just tie that off. Oh, I didn't like how I did that <clears throat> last wrap. One sec. I'm just going to work my thread back. Then you can take your hook and just um, put it up again. Next, you can go ahead and snip away your quill. Next, if you want, you can take a little bit of um, UV resin or uh, head cement and apply it to your body just to make it a little bit stronger. Um, it's quite good, it sticks quite good. Last year when I fished this fly, I didn't put anything on it, but I'm just gonna apply a drop of uh, Gulf Thin Man here. Just 
Might as well try and protect it, you know. Put all that hard work into it. <laughs> Just a touch. I don't want it to really show or anything. I'm just going to take my light and give it a quick cure. Gives it that nice UV color, UV shade. And then I'm going to take and um, put a tiny bit of wax on my thread. I always, even though it's waxed, this spider thread, I like to um, always wax when I'm tying in a hackle. Next, take your hackle, and I'm just going to snip on either side of the stem um, a little area for me to tie in on and it's just got a little bit of the hackle on the very sides um, of the stem that I've left which makes it better when you're tying it in it just doesn't pull out as easy. Make some good wraps on that, tie that in and I've got the shiny side of the feather facing me so um, facing forwards basically. Next take your dubbing if you don't have K-Pock, you can use uh, Black Superfine is, is totally fine. I like the K-Pock because it's it's a natural dubbing and it also uh, floats forever. It was used in life jackets. And I've done my own float test with it here in a cup and the flies just go forever. And I don't, I'm not, not one that likes to use a lot of floatant in my flies, so I really like the K-Pock for that. If you've got too much, just pull it off. Just need a little bit. Next, take your hackle and you can just start winding it. Make the first turn at the back and then just side by side turns going up. Probably going to get about five. Don't grout the head. It's not necessary. And just tie that off. Go ahead and snip the stem away. Next, because I'm using white thread, I'm just going to take, and I want a little black head, I'm going to take a marker. I've got an Artist Loft marker. Um, I got these at Michael's. Just color it black and then whip finish. And I'm just going to give it two, two whips. Oh, I keep missing it. There we go. Pull it good and tight and snip your thread away. And then next, take your shuck. Uh, some people like to measure, you know, the, the entire body length or even one and a half the body length for the for the shuck. I don't like them that long. I just basically do maybe the maybe the the body length up to the hackle. That's how I've been fishing it. And that's it, my emerger midge. Thank you for joining me on this edition of On the Bench. Take care. As always, conserve the waters and tight lines.